Hi guys, Virtual Nami here. This video is sponsored by The Coldest Water. Black Friday has begun at The Coldest Water all month. One up to 50% off selected random drafts throughout the month and up 20% off the entire website at coldest.com slash Black Friday. You can check out the description below for my affiliate link. And if you need a new water bottle, please check it out and get a water bottle for cheaper than you would usually get it. This water bottle. I had a sponsor with them last year, so I have experience with them for a year. And you know, I neglect washing my water bottles, and you know how water bottles get bacteria, love water, and that shit gets nasty. But somehow, some way, it didn't grow the bacteria, and that was wicked. This also is sweat proof, so no condensation in water. Like, get like sweaty water bottles and it also floats in water it keeps your water cold for 25 plus hours and also warm or hot if you want that but it's optimized for colds so if you're looking for a new water bottle and you're looking to get it cheaper than normal price you should check out the description below and it also supports me thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy the video don't touch them are you okay Smell that? Thanks. I thought the barbed wire was a nice touch. Yeah, it's Maria. I can't believe you actually remember me. I know we went to school together. It's just I was so quiet and you were so cool. No, you definitely were. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how have you been? Right, yeah, zombie apocalypse. Duh. That has kind of overshadowed everything else that has happened lately. How's the apocalypse been going so far for you? Sorry to hear that. What's wrong? I've, um, I've lost some people too. You should come with me. I can keep you safe. I'd really like to, actually. Why wouldn't I want you with me? You were always really nice to me in school, and I've kind of been looking for you. Not actively, of course. It's just... Do you remember that one time in class when you said that? Your zombie survival plan was to become a zombie because you have zero survival skills. Yeah, I know it was a joke, but I thought about it when the inf infection started spreading. I'm really glad you're okay. Come on, we should get moving. Me? I'm alright. It turns out I'm actually really good at this whole surviving the apocalypse thing. I have a lot of hobbies that turned out to be surprisingly helpful. I'm an excellent marksman. I'm comfortable wielding those strange weapons. I picked up some first aid skills and I've taken some classes Also, I know how to safely dispose of a dead body. Not because I've been disposing of dead bodies before. Now, obviously, that would be crazy. I just read a lot about it. Anyways, here we are. Home, sweet home. You don't have to whisper, by the way. It's totally soundproof. You could scream on the top of your lungs and nobody would be able to hear you. I don't have to soundproof underground bunkers. It's a little embarrassing. I'd rather not get into it. Oh, I just look like the honeymoon suite at a hotel. 
Well, I've always been the romantic type. Sorry, there's only one bed. You don't mind sharing, do you? Good. You know, the storeroom for this place is even bigger than the living area. I have a lot of non-perishable foods and other supplies stockpiled. We could just hide away here. No one would ever bother us. I have my own generator. See, everything works, including that jacuzzi tub. <laughs> I imagine it's been tough to have a proper soak with the power outages. Always looking over your shoulder. You deserve some relaxation. Do you want to try it out? Oh, don't worry about changing back into your dirty clothes afterwards. There are plenty of extra outfits for you to change into. See? I have an entire wardrobe of clothes that are your size. Pretty sure it's not actually your size. You've lost weight recently, right? Thought so. Running for your life <laughs> would probably do that to you. Gotta make sure you're eating enough to feel all that running and screaming stuff. Oh my gosh. I am the worst hostess. Do you want something to eat or drink? No? Okay. Let me know if that changes. You're still wondering about the clothes? Okay. Um, I had a sibling who was about your size, and now they're dead. So, they're yours now. No worries, it's cool. A lot of people are dead. My parents, they're fine. I think my mom dragged my dad to the Rocky Mountains. Something about better survival in a lower population area, and no one ever finding them. She did invite me along, but I didn't want to go. Their marriage is so weird. I was not prepared to live alone with the two of them for the rest of my life. Plus, I was in love with this city. My bunker is here. Everything, so, you know, I've kind of put down roots. Hmm? Oh, that's the armory. What was I planning to do before the world ended? I'm not sure that's really relevant anymore. I think a lot of people had to reevaluate where they were going after the last few months. I'm guessing your career paths changed pretty quickly after the government fell, right? Exactly. And I'm not sure if whether Clearly, they were never all that important in the first place. I think it's time to let the past go and accept the new normal. Where the dead walk and the survivors of the fight and struggle and scavenge to see another day. But, not you. I'm going to protect you. You won't have to worry about finding food to eat or a safe place. You don't have to worry about getting infected by a zombie. You can be comfortable here with me. Do you want that? Please say yes. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and watch another video. If you'd like to donate, I have my coffee linked below and my Patreon for early access videos and exclusive audios for the higher tiers. And come check out the Discord. Noblesse oblige, thank you for your continuing service as my subscriber.